so I'm just gonna, you know, there will be a few minutes yet. Oh, okay. Well, before they, I'm just gonna set up the, the camera crew is gonna set up the camera. Sure. Can you get some, uh, no water for Ryan? Thanks. Bottle, yep, yeah, a bottle of water would be nice. Thank you. Sorry, just, okay, are we ready? So, uh, what's your deal? What's your deal? Don't be an interview doofus. Tip number one. Do your homework. Conducting an interview with no background is not only rude, but it's stupid. You should know who you're talking to, and maybe, if you have time, phone them up and do a pre-interview before you do the real thing. Okay, so, Ryo, you are the 1,000... 734th most handsome man in Toronto. What is that do? Hmm. When? If it? When you go, what does it feel like for it to go? Tip number two. When you step up in a place, come correct. Don't try to wing it. You should have your questions written out on a paper. You need to respect your subject by being prepared. You'll not only get better responses, but you'll know where you're at and what you need to get. Also, you should always come with extra stock, because you never know when someone might confess to being a murderer. Okay, so, moving on. Tell me, Ryle, is it fun to be handsome? Yes. Tip number three. Think like a journalist. Questions that can be easily answered with yes or no don't make for great cinema. You're looking for standalone clips. Think about how you can get your subject to talk naturally, but never be afraid to direct them. You could start with a few softball questions and make your way up to the juicier ones. One good trick is to say, and then what happened, or what happened next? Like, on January 5th, you received a phone call telling you that you were the 1,734th handsomest man in Toronto. And then what happened? So, okay, so, all right, all right. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try, try it again, I guess. Try it again. I, got, I definitely know who you are. It's nice, to, it's nice to feel respected. I wrote my question. I wrote my questions down. I've got them on paper. So I'm just going to start, start again. Just gonna take my camera here. It's got batteries in it, and uh, <clears throat> ask you, Ryo, when you went to pick up your trophy that they gave you for being the one thousand seven hundred and thirty-fourth most handsome man in Toronto, you went in the store. You spoke to the man there. He handed it to you. I assume there was a certificate. You left. You went home. What happened next? It's actually no, okay. No, no. Sorry, Dad. I don't mean to. I don't mean to interrupt you. Um, I need you to look in the lens of that. Yeah, don't look at me. It's oh, just, sure. Okay. It's a funny. Uh, tip number four: Don't forget to get your subject to speak to you and not to the lens, unless you're going for a look that's extremely awkward. Errol Morris had a plan and a very special machine when he did this. You don't. So stick with the subject looking at you and make sure that you sit close to and just offside of the camera. The camera can and should move, just not in an obvious or distracting way. Don't lock the camera off. 
you'll regret it. Oh, and Mike, can you please pick up some frozen spinach on your way home? Yes.